Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kinnamon. And over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right. Well, today was game four, the Western Conference Finals between the Coachella Valley Firebirds and the Milwaukee Admirals. The game was at UWM Panther Arena again. All right, let's get into it. Shots on goal in the first period, Coachella outshoots Milwaukee 12 to 10. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Coachella 12 to 7. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Coachella 11 to 6. And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Coachella 33 to 25. On to the penalty minutes. <laughs> Coachella Valley goes 0 for 2 with 69 minutes 13 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 2 for 5 with 53 minutes 9 infractions. Forgive me that I cannot get through that without laughing. <laughs> Anyways, on to scoring in the first period. At the 726 mark for the Admirals, Wade Allison scores his first career postseason goal. Congratulations. That was assisted by Mark Del Geisel, his third, and Fedor Svechkov, his fifth. Then at the 1139 mark for Coachella, Connor Carrick scores his first of the game. I believe that was also his first career postseason goal. Um, assisted by Marion Studnik, his fifth, and Riker Evans, his fourth. Then at the 17.04 mark, the Admiral score again with a goal from Joachim Kemmel, his second of the postseason, assisted by Cal O'Reilly. John. Huh? Negative. He's played uh, in the playoffs 23, 22, 16, and 15. Okay, I thought that's what Aaron said, but maybe I misunderstood it. You're good. All right. Then at the 1822 mark, Coachella gets on the board again with a goal from Logan Morrison, his first of the postseason, assisted by Cameron Hughes, his eighth, and Ryan Winterton, his third. That would do it for a crazy first period. This whole game ends up being a crazy good game. Uh Scoring in the second period at the 1244 mark for the Admirals, Fedor Svechkov scoring his fifth of the postseason uh, on the power play, assisted by Ozzy Weisblatt, his seventh, and Ryan Ufko, his seventh. Then scoring at the 1917 mark, your AHL points leader, Zach LaRue with his 10th, with an assist from Bill Tomasino, his first, and Roland McEwen, his first. All righty, then in the third, Tomasino scores his fifth with an assist from Yusuf Parson in his ninth, and LaRue his sixth. So LaRue had 16 points in the playoffs. That was at the 13-11 mark. At the 15-03 mark, we scored an empty net goal because they decided, why not? Let's pull the goalie with less than five minutes, with more than five minutes to go. Eh, why not? You're up three nothing. You're losing. Why not? Yep. So we scored. Oh well, three minutes later, they put us on a two, uh, a five on three power play. And Fedora Svetskov scores his second in the game with a sixth of the postseason uh, with an assist from Brian Upko, his eighth, and Joachim Kemmel, his eighth. This is Joachim Kemmel's best game this playoffs. Yeah. And in months. To the point in which where they kept turning the puck over in the second, and I go, you know what? We're going back to fundamentals. And my buddy pulled out the the angels in the outfield line. Fundamentals in the middle of the postseason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for those of you, um, this game was very chippy, very physical, especially once the Admirals got a major lead. Um, it's amazing what happens when a game is called straight down the line. Um, I know that there were a lot of things that were let go in this game. And that was on both sides. I yeah. saw quite a few tripping calls and a couple hooking calls on us that was not called. 
So I'm not going to just go be completely go and just say that it was straight down the line on, on, on that end. Both sides got had things that were let go. I, I had a question. Was the player that was injured for Coachella, was that a high stick or a puck or what? Like it happened so fast and they didn't show a replay or anything. He took a puck to the face. Okay. I believe he took a puck to the face. It was on the far end from me, so I didn't get a really good look at it, but it did look like he took a puck to the face. Um, you know, at, us as hockey fans, we gave them everything we had. At the 1907 mark, Riker Evans, Hayden, John Hayden, Cameron Hughes, both Cameron Hughes got two penalties. Um, and then Roland McEwen got two penalties. Never better got a misconduct. Just rather be this kind of misconduct that has a 20 minute mark. Max McCormick got a misconduct. Billy Ottavainen got a misconduct. Igor Afanasiev and Reed Schaefer. Um, in that third period, within the last three minutes of the game, I would say uh, Coachella had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight penalties, nine, ten. Ten penalties in the last three minutes of the game. In the third period, we really got under their skin, I think, and really put put the pressure on them. Uh, this is the best game I've seen the Admirals play since we played Grand Rapids. Yeah, I'd have to agree there. It looked like a completely different team on the ice than the previous three games. Um, for whatever reason, the Admirals are also 5-0 and on, uh, with their backs against the wall on an elimination game this postseason. Which is weird, given the circumstances. Um, in that for Coachella Valley was Chris Drieger. Drieger stopped 23 of 29. Troy Grosnick stopped 23 of 25. Um... Your three stars of the game. Third star of the game was Hazi Weisblatt with an assist. Second star of the game was Vindar Shrechkov with two goals and an assist. And the first star of the game was Joachim Kebel with a goal and an assist. I still don't understand why LaRue was not there. LaRue was a plus two. He had one shot on goal, one goal. Okay. Kebel had one shot on goal. One goal. But our stretch off, four shots on goal, two goals. <coughs> cool. uh, um, I, I would also like to add that if I'm doing my research correctly, the last team to come back down three to nothing in the AHL was the Wilkes-Barre uh, Scranton Penguins in 2013. Okay. If that is correct, we will be awarded a thumbs up. If not, we will be corrected. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but I thank you all for watching. It is now almost 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> <laughs> for those of you old enough to remember those commercials, thank you for watching and staying up late with us. For those of you one scrambling around, look one remembering now that your parents, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> have fun. See y'all on Saturday. We do this again. Thank you for watching. <laughs>